Yesterday and today we met our sponsors. On behalf of the Granite State FFA, I'd like to say thank you to all of them for making our FFA activities and awards possible. Also, thank you to the Lakes Region FFA for putting together that amazing show. And welcome everyone to the third day of convention. It's time to confer the state FFA degrees. This year, we have 18 candidates who have been selected by the State Advisory Council to receive this degree. We will now proceed to rise the following members to the Granite State FFA degree. Jagger Bernier, Lakes Region. Nathan Bouchard, Winnesquam. Emma Chisholm, SST. Sutton Corzat. SST, Kaylee Dorenzo, SST, Elizabeth Gardner, SST, Ashley Gatchel, CBNA, Courtney Gervais, CBNA, Tucker Hill, CBNA, Edward Malone, Lakes Region, Alex Marcoux, SST, Carissa Martin, SST, Dakota McPhee, CBNA, Patrick James Murray, CBNA, Kelsey Pease, CBNA, Riley Rogers, CBNA, Stefania Serwick, Winnesquam, Willow Tritter, CBNA. On behalf of the Granite State Association of FFA, I now confer upon you the state FFA degree and its honors and privileges. Some of these FFA members not only applied for state degree, but also for state star. The state star awards go to degree recipients with an outstanding supervised agricultural experience program or SAE. Today, we are awarding state stars in four categories with several bronze, silver, and gold emblems also being presented. Each winner will receive a certificate with an award pin the top four state stars are given a plaque and $250 from the National FFA Foundation and will go on to compete at virtually at the Big E this fall. Let's start with our bronze emblem winners. In the category of agricultural placement, our recipient earns this award for his SAE in agricultural education from the Co Brown Much To Do chapter, Patrick Murray. Next, we have some silver emblem winners. In the category of agricultural placement with an SAE in small animal care is co-brown member Ashley Gatchel. In the star farmer division, the silver emblem goes to yet another co-brown FFA, one who works in dairy production, Dakota McPhee. Next on to gold emblems. In the category of agricultural placement, we have a tie. Both are members of the SST FFA chapter. With an SAE in dairy production, congratulations to Emma Chisholm. And for her work with horses, congrats to Carissa Martin. In the agri-science division, the gold emblem is awarded to a co-brown member with an SAE in wildlife management, Courtney Gervais. And the final gold member in the farming category is awarded to an SST member with experience in diversified livestock, Alex Marcoux. We'll now be announcing the top four, our state stars. They will be representing New Hampshire at the Big E competition in September. The 2020 state star in agricultural placement is a young woman with a strong SAE in dairy production. Working at a large local dairy farm. Her main duty is calf care. Along with her many responsibilities is identifying illnesses and administering medicine to the farm's calves. This very active FFA member hails from the SST chapter. Congratulations to Sutton Corzat. This year's state star in agribusiness is also from SST. Her SAE is in small animal production and care. She has become very proficient in working with both rabbits and dogs. Additionally, serving as an office assistant at a kennel has given her a great deal of business experience. 
which she hopes to put to use someday at her own veterinary hospital. Let's congratulate Kaylee Dorenzo. Our state star farmer grew up on a very diversified farm. Her experience covers the areas of crops, forage, beef, hog, vegetable, and fruit production. Her responsibilities are many and include equipment operation, customer relations, and scientific research. Her four years as a member of the Winnesquam FFA have enabled her to accomplish much in our organization, including serving as chapter president. Congratulations to Stefania Serwick. The final state star today is in the area of agri-science. The 2020 winner works in a veterinary hospital where her chores are varied. Over time, she has gained responsibilities so that she is now capable of performing tasks such as drawing vaccines, making ear slides, and using the centrifuge. Meanwhile, her love of this field of work has grown to the point where she has plans to become a veterinary technician. Join me in congratulating SST member Elizabeth Gardner. Congratulations to all the state degree recipients and to all the stars. Your hard work has finally paid off and you should be proud of your accomplishments. Following the session, don't forget to go check out our state vice president, Caroline Crouch's retiring address. I think I speak for us all when I say, Caroline, thank you for bringing your enthusiasm and hard work to the team. You've always been willing to jump into a challenge and take on a task. You have become a great friend and amazing teammate. So thank you. At this moment, I'm gonna ask you to reflect. By doing this, I'm gonna read a story. A small one of someone who accomplished something great because they believed. Believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, it is possible to do something great. An example, Amberly Schneider, a professional barrel racer, got into a serious car accident. She became paralyzed from the waist down. She was told she would never walk again, never mind ride and compete. She didn't let what everyone was saying stop her, and she never gave up. She customized her saddle and strived to ride. She strived to compete. And with a few setbacks, she continued to train. She became a champion barrel racer who is very well known. She did something that seemed so impossible, but she believed in herself and succeeded. If you believe in yourself, you can succeed and accomplish something great too.